How's it going guys? It is Kyle and we are back for another vlog and today we're going to be talking about props. How to use them, where to find them, what they are and how to possibly make your own props, right? Because let's face it, going to the shop every day just to get a whole set of new props is kind of expensive so make them at home. It's a lot more fun. So let's get straight into it. What is an actual prop? Now, props could literally be anything you want them to be, right? From apples from the kitchen to your cereal that you didn't have because you were teaching a lesson to insanely awesome hats. Well, yeah. To homemade props like the Civil Minion right over here, right? Yeah. So if you don't have time to go out and buy your props, right, just make them yourselves. And I'll get into that a little bit later, right? But back to what is a prop. So those are the toy aspects, right? Ooh, we can't forget teddies, right? Bam, disappear, come back. Teddies, all kinds of teddies, monkeys, right? You are a prop. Right? You're a prop. Anything you want to words, numbers, colors, cue cards, feelings, right? Whatever you like, use it as a prop, right? Now, the only thing that I would stress is how appropriate that prop is to the age group, to the Brady, or just to your job as a whole. Now, if you've got an action figure that's, for example, portrays violence, right? Swords and guns and whatever it is, and maybe sort of like gashed out eyes, and well, that's not appropriate anymore. Okay, so just make sure that the props that you are using are appropriate for that age group. For example, don't whoop out a little paper cup tiger. Rawr. If you're teaching a Brady that's 15, 16, they're guaranteed they're not going to appreciate it. Okay, so what is a prop? Like I said, well, it's anything you like, just give it some life and it is your prop. Okay, and then just make sure that it's appropriate for the age group, for the Brady and for the company, okay? There's one prop that I do use that not all the time, depends on the Brady and depends on how well I get on with them and I'll basically gauge how appropriate it is. And that's basically my Pumpkin Jack, which could possibly be a little bit scary. I think I might have scared one of the Bradys, ooh, with this once, which I kind of realized after that it wasn't appropriate and I stopped using it and now I just use it every now and then if I can't grab anything at that specific time. Awesome. So let's move on to the next section. Cool guys. So there is a wonderful place full of marvel and wonder. Kind of obvious when you say there's a wonderful place, it'll be full of wonder, right? Uh, yeah, where was I? Oh, there we go. So there's a wonderful place called OneDrive that everyone should have access to, okay? And there's loads of different things on there that you can use, that you can look at, that you can print, and just use for props. One of the things that I've seen, and including me, well, it's never really used, but people struggle with these sort of words every single day. So check out the OneDrive. It is, I'm going to have to edit the folder name in because I can't think of it off the top of my head at this point in time. But, for example, writing. How do you explain writing besides picking up a book and actually writing on it, right? Get a cue card. Bam! Here's one right over here. Don't use it on screen because it blows up a little bit. It looks a little, blur little bit blurry. But what you can do is print it out and now you've got the write card. Can you write? Yeah. Pen your name over there. Perfect. So this one and then the singing, I don't think you guys will use the singing much unless you're Brady likes singing, but there's an awesome way to explain how to sing, right? Then the other thing that I find that's kind of difficult to, to explain, especially if your Brady isn't at that level, and that's general look, right? And what I stick to, not necessarily a prop, I'm not much of a prop guy, I use some of them some of the times, but not all the time, right? But I tend to go, can you see, can you look? over here or can you look for a paper cup tiger in your house look look but if you don't want to do that what you can do is like i said print out off one drive and there it is your little cue card bam perfect and then there's loads of other ones like for example draw can you draw so what i used to do is 
write and draw for me is the same thing. I'm going to end up using this though because it's so much more, well, easier really. Right? What I normally go is, can you, or what I normally do is, can you draw, can you write? And the bird looks, well, hmm. He's asking me to do the same thing twice. Why? But in my mind, I'm going, well, draw and write. Right? So to make it easier, what you can do is, like I said, use the cue cards. And the last one that I want to go through is what we call the counting. Can you count? And then they can actually go one, two, three, four. And you can point out the numbers as you count. Now, this is just one. Bam. Now, there are, did I upload it? I don't think so. Yes, I did. Bam. Hold on. There we go. So there are the Picro counting cards, right? So again, get a printer, print it out, cut it out, and now instead of you going one, two, three, four, five, once I caught a fish alive, what you can do is whip out the flashcards. What is this? Hmm. And the cool thing is you can start playing little games with it as well, little memory games, yeah? So you've got your flashcard, it says one, the number, the word, and what you can do is take a little piece of paper, cover the written word. What number is that? What is that? And they can say one, or cover the number, and now they can recognize the actual written word of the number. So you can play little memory games with that as well. And that essentially applies to any flashcard that we have, right? So if I have to swap to, bam, this one over here, amazing body parts. Now, I think the whole of most of Picaro 1, some of Picaro 2, I could be wrong, don't quote me on this though, has body parts in it. Now, the easiest way to practice body parts, what I normally do is draw. Get them to draw, right? Use that cue card that I just explained. But an easier way is to actually have your flashcards in front of you, and you can go, well, this is a head. Wham! This is a leg. Wham! This is a toe. Wham! This is an arm. Wham! And then bring them back, and then go, do you remember what this is? Cover up the word. What are they pointing to? And now it's that memory game back in, right? So there's loads of different games that you can play with the flashcards, okay? Same thing. Flashcard of his legs. This one right over here. Bam. What you can do is, besides going the legs, you can go, well, what color is his t-shirt? Color. Is it? And hold up a green flashcard. Is it green? No. Throw it away. Orange? No. Throw it. And now you've got another little game going on there, just with props. Yeah? Don't even have to use the Brady, or sorry, use the Brady. Don't even have to use the tools in the classroom, right? Previous was it a vlog? Yes, it was. Previous vlog that I did was, what happens when your birdie can't use the classroom tools, right? It doesn't matter. Your flashcards will do the trick. If the three other ones don't work, colors, numbers, errors, right? Elaborate. Perfect, right? So, let me just go through one more flashcards over here. That Not that one. Perfect. So, again, if you're looking at animals, again, I'm going to say it. These ones, the Picro ones, are on the Dropbox, not the OneDrive. The cue cards with the words is on the OneDrive. Okay? Got to get them right. Now, this one, again, with the flashcards, there's loads of things. There's colors that you can use. There's numbers that you can do. And then there's animals. And then, obviously, there's full sentences. Okay? What do I mean by full sentences? There are five blue elephants. How many elephants do you see on the flashcard? Five. Bam. How many cats? How many Dogs, how many lions, how many apples, how many birds, and you can get them to count with you. So cover the numbers, and they can go hold it right up to the screen, and then they can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. Ooh, there's nine apples. You can go, no, there are eight apples, or no, there are ten apples. I have no idea why I said eight. It just came to me, right? That's why I corrected it. Cool. So those are the flashcards, right? Just make sure that you use as many as you possibly can. Cool guys, so making props. Now it's not every day that you can get out to the shops and buy a whole bunch of props. And generally, if you someone like me, if you do get there, what tends to happen is you buy a bunch of, well, everything that you can possibly see in the store. You get home and you realize you forgot the one thing that you actually needed for the lesson, right? So instead of buying all the time, what you can do is end up making them. How do we make them? Well, Check out our YouTube link and the craft videos, either mine or Annalyn's, and we'll show you how to make a whole bunch of awesome props, right? Not all of the videos can be made into props. However, a few that I've made is, well, a little minion. Yeah. 
Ba -da 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 -da. Right? Little minion talks to your Brady, does little dances. Which kid hasn't seen minions or Despicable Me 1, 2, or 3? Or what I do or what I have with me right now is my little pepper cup tiger. Or my pepper cup leopard. Bam. And you can literally use them on your fingers and then they can start moving around, talking. I know this one looks a little bit mean, but we can use them as props, okay? So if you want to learn how to make some, check out the links and we will show you, right? Or just make your own, use your imagination and then check it out and make your own props, right? It is so much better making them, it's a lot more fun and you can make them a lot more personal for your specific Brady. Um, I know one Brady, one of my Bradys, and I've mentioned this before, she loves animals, all right? She will do anything to talk about animals, to see pictures of animals or just to sort of, well, draw animals, okay? So what I should do, I haven't done yet, I just thought of it now, is whip out the leopard or the tiger, or make an animal that she loves. Another Brady that I just had, not a regular, she just came up, loves rabbits, okay? For what I should do is make a rabbit paper cup doll, right? And then just use that to communicate with her because she loves it. I don't have rabbit teddies, I've only got those ones over there and the one that's over there, but the rabbit will be a great idea. Now I'm just sidetracking on what I should do, okay? So let's end it right there. And Cool guys, so the last little part is your suffixes and your prefixes. Now, basically what it is, is adding something at the beginning of the word or adding something at the end of the word, okay? Pre-beginning fix, while well, adding something at the beginning of the word, right? Right, like, happy and unhappy. Happy, unhappy. So the easiest way to describe that besides writing and drawing on the actual toolbox, right? Not the toolbox, the classroom, whiteboard with the tools, would be having an actual set of flashcards. So for example, you can have the word un and then happy and then every other word that you can tie up with un or any other prefix that you can possibly think of, okay? I'm just using unhappy at this point in time. And we can have the word happy, show it to them, happy, and then as soon as we add in that extra bit, bam, we can get unhappy. And then it just helps explain the actual situation and what the words mean. Okay, take it away, happy, but if we add a little bit onto it, it becomes unhappy. Same as suffixes, right? As soon as you add something extra onto it, well, it changes the word. How do we help Brady's understand? Well, for example, full, if you are on the one card, and then have helpful, or not helpful, I lie, help on another flash card, and maybe a little picture describing what help is, right? Or thanks, thank, what do we say? I give you something, what do you say? Thanks, there we go, thank, thankful, and that's a new word. Or what is the other one that I have? Forget, bam. Forget one, with a little picture, bam, explain what it means, and then as soon as you add the extra bit onto it, forgetful, now you are forgetful. And now it's easier to explain concepts, right? So again, use this flashcard as much as possible, design some of your own props, make some of them. If you don't know how, check out the YouTube channel, and Watch some craft videos, right? Get your kids to get involved. It is great fun. And then other than that, I'll catch you on the flip side, guys. Peace out.